Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'll be sharing with you how to move beyond belief and into knowing. Now I just filmed this video and I thought I would redo it and something clicked for me about halfway through the video because I realized something in this whole process that really made a transformation and a tweak for me in the way that I think about it. Now, in the video I was doing, I realized there, were cert there was a certain energy behind what I was saying and that when I was talking about knowing, it was more of from an egoic point of view and it was almost like the moment I made this switch of understanding that it's not about what the ego knows, it was like you could feel in the video even as you watched it that there was more of an expanded feeling to it. There was more of of a letting go of limitations and then really stepping into the embodiment for the message. Now, this is about knowing that knowing is not a product of the ego. Now, we can use our ego in a way because we need to use our ego in order to have a physical experience. And the power of knowing is really about having a trust in the process and knowing who you are at a deeper level, having a more elevated state of awareness. Now, as I say in many of my videos, our beliefs are creating the kind of experiences that we have, that based upon who we define ourselves to be, depending upon the definitions that we have about just simply the way the world works, that is what is going to be reflected back to us. Now, a belief is something that normally comes from a reference experience. It's something that we, in a subconscious or conscious way, decided that this is just the way the world works, and therefore that continues to be reflected back to us in our life. Now, knowing is much at a deeper level. Knowing is more of from a deep level of experience. It's more of a feeling within and a simple embodiment of the whole idea. Now, this is about really understanding that we can anchor ourselves into a knowing state when we are more aware of that higher perspective that I was talking about. Now, this is about really shifting our perspective from the ego to the higher perspective to then know that things are always working out for us in the way they are meant to happen. Now, this was something that I wasn't necessarily focused on in the last video like version that I just did, but I really want to hammer down on this because this is when I could definitely feel that there was a much better clarity in the message. Now, for our life, there are certain things that we know to be true. For example, if I were to tell you right now, my name is Aaron, I say it with certainty. I don't believe my name is Aaron. I don't say it like my name is Aaron, like a question like inflection goes up. I say it as in certainty. I know that my name is Aaron. Now, in the same way, I can apply that same feeling of certainty with my name is Aaron to other things in my life. I could apply that towards knowing that I am abundant, towards having that same feeling behind my name is Aaron to the idea of abundance. And I could feel into it. And if at any reason I feel like it's not the same feeling, I can then ask myself, what would I believe is true to not know that about myself? And then I can see that there's maybe pictures and frames that come up of remembering times in my life when I wasn't feeling that abundance and believing that that's not my natural state of being. And as those get brought up, I can simply decide that they no longer serve me and I can realize that that's not who I really am. I can start to then let go of those beliefs and start to move into more of that state of knowing. So really to make this video very simple, it's more of a state of being than it is any type of specialized knowledge. It's not any specific information. Now it can be, but what I'm talking about in this video is getting yourself to a state of being of knowing. Now there's certain things you know to be true. Well, you can use your name as an example because it's something you're certain about and if you apply it towards any other category in your life and you don't feel the same level of certainty, you can start to really become aware of 
of the beliefs that are holding that back and start to simply let them go. And then as you take action and you behave in that state of being, that's when it will start to get deeper into the core of who you are. Experience is what causes us to know something, not intellectual ideas, not the beliefs of perceiving it, it's the actual experience. So begin to embody who you prefer to be. Begin to embody this level of knowing, and as you begin to feel more into more into what you already know, it'll see that it leaks into other parts of your life. Now, another part of this video that I believe can really change the way we view this whole process is starting to shift ourselves out of the ego perspective of wanting to insist on how things have to happen and trying to figure that out to giving it up and seeing it from a perspective of a more expanded level of awareness. Now, what this means is that we know that we are always supported. We know that things always happen for us, not to us. We are not a victim. When we start to have this perspective that we can always learn from situations, that things are always happening in the right time, when we start to give it up to what I call our higher mind, then we release all the resistance that's around those limiting beliefs, all the resistance around the ego trying to make things happen in a certain way, and it's almost like we allow it to take on its own form of itself, its own process. We have trust in a knowing that things are always happening for us in a positive way. So this means that we can tailor the knowing of who we are by knowing that we are not just our ego, we are also the more expanded level of awareness. When we start to see things from that point of view, when we learn how to objectively see, which means we don't see and buy into the perspective of things being good or bad, we simply see them as more of neutral, we're able to observe our own ego, that's when we start to get more into a knowing state. Knowing is very much more about awareness. When you become aware of your ego, that's when you start to gain your power back. That's when you start to embody who you prefer to be because you can see it from a higher perspective. So the power of this video is simply knowing that you can let go of how things need to happen. You can let go of the ego desires. You can let go and become aware of what they are. You can still have goals, but realize that as you get more to a state of knowing that things always happen the way they're supposed to happen, that you are always supported in what you know to be true, as you get more to that state of being, you find that you let go of the burden, that it feels so much better and that you're then able to embody who you prefer to be. Now remember that the embodiment means taking action is necessary and that if you know something to be true, if you know that you will be successful, you will naturally take action and do that. It's only when there's doubts and limiting beliefs that are there that will help and keep us procrastinating from being what we prefer to be. So become more aware of what you know to be true about yourself. Become more aware of those limiting beliefs that crop up. Simply start to let them go. Expand your awareness from the limited ego mind into the overall understanding of what you can gain from the situations in your life, what you can learn from them, knowing things always happen when they're meant to happen, really allowing yourself to let go of the outcomes and allow Allow the grander part of yourself to take care of it. So this is about the trust in yourself, the trust in the process, and feeling into that knowing state of being and applying that towards every aspect of your life. It's more about the feeling than the intellectual idea. So remember you can anchor that feeling into you whenever you prefer by simply expanding your awareness from the limited ego mind, from becoming aware of it, and then seeing it through the eyes of who you you really are. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you guys on the next vid. Peace, much love, namaste. All right, bye.